Crusoe. Okay, Robinson Crusoe is a very famous novel by Daniel Defoe. Okay, and हम इसमें से इस पूरे नॉवल में से उसकी एक स्टोरी पढ़ रहे हैं इन विच रॉबिंसन बिल्ड अ हाउस फॉर हिमसेल्फ ओके लेट्स फर्स्ट क्विकली गो थ्रू द समरी ऑफ दिस लेसन एंड देन वी विल वॉच द स्टोरी ओके समरी ऑफ द स्टोरी रॉबिंसन क्रूसो इज अ नॉवल रिटर्न by daniel defoe where he has written a story about a man after b who after b shipwreck was cast ashore on a lonely island robinson crusoe builds a house is a story about a man जो दूर किसी आइलैंड पे फंस जाता है ओके एंड वी विल सी इन द स्टोरी दैट इन दैट लोनली आइलैंड हाउ ही हिमसेल्फ बिल्ड्स अ हाउस ओके सो ही वॉज कास्ट अ शोर ऑन अ लोनली आइलैंड वेयर ही लिव अलोन फॉर सेवरल इयर्स नाउ अगर हम किसी आइलैंड में फंस जाए और हमें काफी साल वहां पे रहना पड़े हमारे पास बचने का और कोई वे ना हो तो क्या होगा हम अपने सर्वाइवल के लिए कुछ ना कुछ करेंगे राइट सो इन द स्टोरी यू विल सी दैट हाउ रॉबिंसन सर्वाइव एंड बिल्ड्स अ हाउस फॉर हिमसेल्फ ओके लेट्स वॉच द स्टोरी Chapter 12 Robinson Crusoe builds a house No doubt you have heard of Robinson Crusoe who after the shipwreck was cast ashore on a lonely island where he lived alone for several years I found a little plain land on the side of a rising hill whose front towards this little plain was a rock as steep as a house side so no savage creatures men or beasts if any were on the island could come upon me from the top on the side of this rock there was a hollow place worn a little way in like the door of a cave but there was not really any cave or way into the rock at all on the flat of the green just before this hollow place i decided to pitch my tent this plain lay like a green before my door and at the end it went down every way to the low grounds by the seaside it was on the northwest side of the hill so that i was sheltered from the heat every day till the sun came near the setting before i set up my tent I drew a half circle before the hollow place. In this half circle, I pitched two rows of strong stakes, driving them into the ground till they stood very firmly. The end of each stake stood out of the ground about five feet and a half, and was sharpened at the top. Then, what do you think Robinson Crusoe is making? Robinson Crusoe. वुडन स्टिक्स लगाकर वहां पे क्या बना रहे हैं इज ही ट्राइंग टू मेक अ फेंस टू प्रोटेक्ट हिज हाउस वॉट डू यू थिंक लेट्स सी द स्टोरी एंड लेट्स फाइंड आउट cut in the ship and laid them in rows one upon another between these two rows of stakes up to the top i placed other stakes on the inside leaning against them like a spur to a post this fence was so strong that neither man nor beast could get into it or over it into this fence or fortress or over it into this fence or fortress i carried all my food gunpowder and stores i made a large tent and into it i brought everything that would get spoilt by the rains 
Having thus enclosed all my goods, I built up the entrance of the fence, which till now I had left open, and so passed in and out by a ladder. When I was in, I lifted the ladder over after me. Thus I was completely fenced in, and so I slept safely in the night. When I had done this, I began to cut a way into the rock, and thus I made a cave just behind my tent, which served me like a cellar or kitchen to my house. It cost me much labor and many days before all these things were perfectly finished. Now I began to make such things as I found I most wanted. I made a table and a chair out of the short pieces of boards that I brought on my raft from the ship. I made large shelves all along one side of my cave to lay all my tools, nails, and ironwork. I knocked pieces into the wall of the rock to hang my guns and all things that would hang up. I Robinson will think he dashed with the sharp pieces of boards. What he did? He brought fine wool maker I think up Mesa. I brought out of the ship in the voyages which I made to it several things of less value but not less useful to me. I got pens, ink and papers, three or four compasses, three good Bibles and other books which I carefully stored away. We had in the ship a dog and two cats. I carried both the cats with me. As for the dog, he jumped out of the ship of himself and swam on shore to me the day after I went there with my first cargo. He was a trusty servant to me for many years. There was nothing that he could not fetch me, nor did I lack company while he was with me. I only wanted him to talk to me, but that he would not do. I did, after some trouble, catch a young parrot and brought it home. I named it Paul. It was some years before I could make him speak. However, at last, I taught him to call me That's a by my name. How? Why do you think Robinson Crusoe wanted somebody to talk to him? Agar hum Robinson ki taro kahi pe aise sea shore par atak jate, agar hum log wahan se bahar nahi nikal paate, to हमें कोई तो चाहिए अपने साथ बात करने के लिए हम अगर अकेले ही रहेंगे तो वी विल फील लोनली एंड वी गेट अपसेट राइट सो रॉबिंसन अपना माइंड डाइवर्ट करने के लिए उस अकेले आइलैंड पे जो उनके साथ एनिमल्स थे और जो पैरेट था वही उनके साथ उनकी कंपनी के लिए थे सो ही टॉट द पैरेट टू स्पीक and soon the parrot started calling out him by his name okay i died all alone attended by my servants there was my majesty the prince and lord of the whole island paul my favorite was the only person permitted to talk to me my dog sat always at my right hand and two cats one on one side of the table and one on the other expecting now and then a bite from my hand as a mark of special favor dear children i hope you are very clear with the story now it's time for share it like robinson crusoe Imagine if you are stuck on an island. अगर आप रॉबिंसन की तरह आइलैंड पर अकेले रह जाते, how will you build a shelter for yourself? आप अपने लिए घर कैसे बनाते? आप खुद को शेल्टर कैसे करते? Now, what you have to do? आप कौन सी चीजें अरेंज करते आप उन्हें यूज कैसे करते यू हैव टू राइट अबाउट इट ओके एंड यू कैन राइट इट इन फाइव और सिक्स लाइन्स एंड आफ्टर राइटिंग यू हैव टू सेंड मी अ फोटोशॉट ऑफ दैट पैराग्राफ ओके डियर चिल्ड्रेन आई विल सी नेक्स्ट टाइम 
with the part two of the story. Till then, read the story very carefully. Go through it. Bye, dear children. God bless you.